Hey guys, what is up? And sorry for the delay in the video, but we are, uh, the goal for today's episode is going to be to get something on our screen. And uh, to do that, we've got our world class, and we're going to have a world renderer class. Um, so I'm trying to think what we want to set up first. But let's go ahead and just dive into this. We're going to create a new class for now. We'll have it in view. That might change later. But it's going to be a world renderer. And uh, yeah, that's good for now. And uh, it's going to public. I'm trying to think what we need the constructor to take. Um, we need it to take the world. So we need a world, world, and then that needs to be a global variable for us. So of course we're going to set this dot world equals world. Alrighty. Um, for now, that's going to be a start. We're going to have a method public void render. And we're also going to need some textures, actually, and a sprite batch. Um, let's start with that sprite batch, batch, and we're going to have to import that and ship s. Actually, let's just call it ship. It doesn't need to be s. Ship is a short enough word. I think I did that in an old episode, too. Um, so while we've got this, we're going to say uh, ship. Or no, we don't need that, but batch equals new sprite batch. And we're actually going to need a camera cam. We can import that. Uh, so cam equals a new camera. Actually, wait, we need a new orthographic. It's a new orthographic camera. And what are the different ones? Diamond angle. Using the given viewport width and height. Usable for isometric views. Um, for now, let's just set it as an orthographic camera. And then we can say cam equals or cam dot uh, width set oh, wait what are the all right actually we've got what do we want uh, cam we don't want project we don't want rotate we don't want translate you don't want unproject. Um, what is the one I'm looking for? Let's see. Uh, this, I hate looking. Cam dot. There's a method that I cannot think of for the life of me. Maybe if I look at the documentation. But for now. Um, we'll leave it at that, actually, for now that'll work, um, and we're going to need a texture, ship texture, and we can import that, uh, and then let's create that ship texture equals new texture and we're going to call that data slash ship dot png and I already have a ship I don't know if I've already looked at this yet but this I created a while ago that's our awesome 8 bit ship close enough to 8 bit it's a 16 by 16 image it'll give us a nice little retro look because that's what everyone loves um, 
And of course, we're going to have to have batch dot begin, batch dot end, and batch dot draw a texture. Uh, what's the easiest texture one? I'm going to have this so draw the ship texture to um, ship dot ship dot get position dot x and ship dot get position dot y and that colon should not be that semicolon should be there all right um and then we need to say ship equals world dot get ship all right so this should be about enough to render. We need to have public void update, which should call ship dot up. Uh, the ship will need an update class, but um, for now, just know this is where our up where we're, we're going to go through the logic of updating all of our stuff. Actually, we can probably update the ship class which extends movable entity. So that should actually have a um, public abstract update. That's one of the abstract methods I needed. Oh, and it returns void. Almost forgot that. Save that, and our ship's going to get an error, and our we don't have any enemies yet. And on un unimplemented methods. All right, so we can save that. We've got that now, um, and we can say ship dot update because that does nothing for us yet, but it will um, sometime in the future once we start working with controls and stuff like that. In our game, we're actually going to call world dot update and um, let's see what else do we want to do uh, that batch needs to be disposed so I suppose in the world render we also need a public void dispose and then uh, we can and ship Texture dot dispose. I thought sh does the camera need disposed? It shouldn't, right? No. Um, that should be everything that needs disposed of. And then the world method also needs a dispose. And well, for now that's nothing, but it should be there just in case. If we hide the screen for now, go ahead and dispose it. Um, that'll call world dot dispose. And aside from our world, we're going to need a world render -er. render. -er. Let's just call it render for impact for typer's sake. And we're going to need to import that. Uh, world equals new world. And it's going to match the game. Don't know if that's necessary, but for now it works. Um, render equals new world render -er world all right let's see and in the world render i forgot the really simple stuff which is crap i've been away from this so long i almost don't remember the gl clear calls we'll just copy those and go ahead and paste those in the world render um, 
let's see, what else do we need? Because when I run this, I want it to just run to make it nice and simple. All right, and in the game, we're going to have world.update and render.render. .render. So our world is going to update everything, and then we're going to render everything, which is rendering the texture. And when the world gets created, ship equals new ship. Um, point five five f is the speed. You know, I don't want it to actually be a part of the constructor. As silly as that sounds, um, but it shouldn't be there. And let's see, that extends movable entity, so let's open that up. And not take speed. You know what? For, uh, you know what, actually, just, actually, for the sake of everything, let's just leave it in there, because it could end up being nice later. Um, it could come in handy. We'll see. Let's go ahead and run this real quick. Where all do I have my errors right now? Must override or implement a super tight method. Oh. There we go. I accidentally took out the void. All right. Now if we run this, Let's see how it's going. We've got our fancy little intro thingy, and we've got a play button, and an awesome crash. Texture, width, and height must be powers of two. What? How big is it? Is it 20 by 20? Crap. All right, well... This is an easy fix for now. Um, we'll change this later. But um, open up your, in the source for your desktop one, go to main, and for uh, use GL 2.0, set it to true. And now run it, and it should actually run just fine. Although that's really frustrating. I can't believe I did that for some reason. And boom, we've got our ship in basically close enough to the center of the screen. Um, this isn't what the final is going to look like, but for now, we learned how to render an image. Next episode is going to come soon, and that is going to be over actually controlling that. And we're going to do a little bit with... Um, different screen resolutions, which is going to be handy when we deploy our game for Android. Um, and the camera is going to come in handy with that. Once I remember the method for that, I'll go over that first in the control episode. And we're going to have a ship that moves around the screen and not only moves around, but also rotates in the direction that we're going. And I did some fancy little hand motions as I said that, you know, like rotating. So, uh, you know, you can get the full experience of what it's going to be like, even though you can't see me rotating my hands. But um, that was a really short episode, but it's really key that we go ahead and get the basis for throwing stuff on a screen. Um, and yeah, uh, hopefully you enjoyed it What for what it was. And I will see you guys in the next episode, which will not be a week later like this one was. I promise you that. Uh, hopefully, maybe even... It could come today or tomorrow, but um, I will see you guys later.